Okay. Okay, continue from where I left off. Please. Pretty, pretty please with a, a big old cherry on top. I'm a fan of cherries. That picture of the slums reminds me of Scrap Monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh. I like Scrap Monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh. I think they're cool. You should too. If you don't, well, <laughs> that's, that's fine by me. What is that sign in Earthbound? It's like, um... Uh, it's the Tucson Sports uh, Academy or something like that. Well, like, what do you, think? you a fan of sports? If so, it's fine by us. Tucson Sports Academy. Something like that. I don't know. Oh, I remember where I am now. Right, I've started a cult. <laughs> music guys I love how much of a video game this is how much of a, a real thing that this is so I haven't gone to gone through to edit um, the episodes of uh, chapter 8 are we on right now I had the episode numbers messed up by or they were one off so we're on episode 24 right now as fact, chapter 8, part 6, because this has been a big old chapter. And I remember just how much trouble I was having in battle with these two. So I want to start off with the materia screen really quick, as I also have to remember to set my timer. Okay. I have decided we're going to try to make Aerith completely I'm not going to play as her kind of thing. She's going to be working in the background. We're going to give her first strike materia. Keep her with that, rather. That way she just always has ATP I can go to at some point in battle. And auto cure, so that way when I need health as Cloud, I can just, I just have it. It will, just will happen automatically. And you do not need cure equipped on the character for this to work, by the way. Um, ice, because we've been fighting monsters quite a bit, so I'm giving her ice. I'll probably switch that out on the fly with, uh, as, you know, what, what it calls for. And prayer just for the healing. Um, for this materia, materia, um, ATB gain. Now, not Barret. Cloud. You may notice, four independent materia. <laughs> I've been equipped to him. That is because I've given him provoke. So that way, if Aerith is ever in trouble, enemies will just come to me automatically more often. Now with that being said, gonna take a lot of damage. So I gave steadfast block materia to Cloud to reduce damage when I'm blocking and also gain ATB. That way when I'm blocking and I need to do something, I can pull out um, a special move, right? more often than not. So that way I'm hoping if I'm ever back against the wall just blocking, I'll have an answer, right? These two I think are gonna work in conjunction pretty well. Otherwise, deadly dodge still, just for that close combat goodness. Assess, in case I need to assess something, of course. And HP up, no brainer. With all that over. What's up guys? My name is Star Racer. Nathan. And welcome to another installment of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I have been doing a lot of uh, editing videos and re-looking back at what I've done and what I've played. And I tell ya, I, I feel bad that I haven't recorded in a while to where I just needed to record, I felt like today, right now, no one else is home, so 
We have one more side quest to do. Yes, do you have anything for me or no, okay. Then shut up! Um I remember what I was saying something about getting back into it, probably. And it being important. I just missed this game, guys. I just really did, and now we're back, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, the final side quest of chapter eight before we continue on. That's what it was. Okay. Boom. Intro's done. Episode start uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town yep I'm Damon a little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz uh, that rag the one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums on the contrary my dear we strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren we seek a better future for everyone rich and poor now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. <laughs> Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the Merc of the Hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. So you want me to fight this lady? I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. I... Okay. Well, you know, I did take a journalism class in my uh, college days, so <laughs> I know a thing or two about getting a scoop. Talk to old people. Oh, I still have Stamps theme playing. Good. Hey, you're super unique. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. I call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Need a moment? That's super sketchy. Are well, you gonna answer her? Gosh, so rude. Okay. To be honest, I have to address this. I've been listening to this song a lot in my own time. It's got a nice melody and a harmony. No matter how many times the cloud just just swooshes through towards something. There's just no other song that's gonna fit right now. So Alright. Pardon me, excuse me. What's up, dude? So, any news? Have you tried talking Maybe. to Mireille at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Oh, dang! have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I 
do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point. Got it. I'll check it out right now. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Of course. Oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I don't go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... Don't look at me. Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. The plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. It right. It's a plan you're looking for. I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Did we agree on a price? Before I this all happened, build a place back then. I wish you could have too, kid. I really do. Not okay. So I guess we're gonna be going to fight some sort of boss, high-level monster, lots of teeth. We need to go all the way up here. Can I just? Fast travel here? That is one thing that this game doesn't seem to have, is fast travel. They want you to walk everywhere. Which it doesn't take long to walk places, or run, rather. This would be nice to have fast travel. And maybe we do, and I just don't use it because I forgot. Anyway, I will meet you guys at lookout point. Go. I don't know why that scared me so- Oh, okay. We're back. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's funny. It's a giant, um, smogger. Smogger? Oh, he's got a giant wrecking ball hand. That's awesome. Giant wrecking ball hand. And a small horn. And then a tiny little T-Rex arm. And a giant horn. Okay. This is a machine, obviously. So, as I said, I'd be re-equipping Materia when I see fit, and this is one of those moments. We're giving Aerith lightning, now. All right. What's up, dude? What's going on, going man? In. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Oh. <laughs> no holding back. <laughs> Ow. Oh, good gracious. Get him. Okay. Bring it. Let's get this over with. Well, that's really annoying. Okay, uh, Chromomonger, we're gonna assess you and see just what you're made of. Chromomon- Chromonger. Chromonger, not Chromomonger. Stupid Nathan. Gosh, dang it. Stupid. Um, I mean, uh, <clears throat> an autonomous robot discarded by Shinra as part of its self-repair protocol. It used nearby scrap metal to repair its body material. Scrap material. Scrap material? When would you ever see scrap material? It should be scrap metal. Right? Scrap. Scrapped material. Anyway, it knocks down foes by swinging its arm <laughs> with a wrecking ball! Sorry. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of um, focus thrust on this body. And then you. Going to thunder uh, the arm? Yeah. That wasn't fine. That was weird. Get ready. Aerith, are you having are you okay over there? I'm not sure if you're 
That's super annoying. Um, you go ahead and... Oh, we are... Yikes. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Shit. Come on. Not today. Oh, I think he did hit me though. That's fine. Okay, Aerith, you are not doing the best. Uh... Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, high potion cloud. I'll show you what I can do. Look what I can do! And cast. One more uh, oh my god, she weird. is super paralyzed right now. Let's have you not be paralyzed. You're still... Oh, time to run! Oh, time to run! What is that iron ball? Oh, let me guess. This is the perfect battle. I should have been using Aerith because she does ranged magic attacks. Let me guess. Okay, we're gonna raise. And then we're going to... Um... I'm here. Too bright? Can you handle them? I got it. <laughs> Get ready. There we go. Here we go. This one's for you. Focus thrust. Once more. Ooh, actually, we're gonna disorder. I'm coming. One more shot. There we go. Um, pray. Just taking a little break. There we go. Just go away. Nice. Focus the rest again. Silenced. That'll do. Release that. Uh, we're gonna pray. And disorder. Order disorder reorder over and over. Come catch me, Mr. Robot. Come and get me. Stage is set. Cast it's double thunder. Oops. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Shit. Whoa. You want to get out of this electric field? I'll show you what I can do. <laughs> Look what I can do. What SNL bit was that? The guy would just like go up and be like, Look what I can do. I can do this. And he just like jump or does something like stupid like anyone could do. 
That was a good bit. Uh, pray again. Why don't you lead the way? Stay strong. Uh, nice job, Cloud. Here goes. I'm really proud of you. Go on. That iron sphere is really annoying. One more shot. Ow. Oh. Are hurt. I'm feeling pretty weak. Need to heal up. Gotta heal first. I love this spamming focus thrust. It makes me so happy. This one's for you. That's gonna hurt you, Cloud. <laughs> oh, you blocked it! Man, let's go, dude! Alrighty then. That was, um... That was, a, that was an intense fight. And I didn't die this time. See? Switching out the materia. Re-strategizing worked out in the end. Cloud still died, but I figured it out. Also helps that that enemy didn't have much bullcrap other than... Honestly, the point, the, the paralysis was more difficult to overcome than the, uh, the Wrecking Ball. It made me think of Miley Cyrus, but that was really the only... The guardian angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Yes, let us head back. And just like magic. So. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. <sighs> So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find. Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel, a warning. Mm. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! What? It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Oh, this is, this Excuse is Persona 5. I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, <laughs> why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Ooh. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> Can't call it, it theft was her. if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. No way. Uh, she, I see, I had a feeling it was her. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pay sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I was gonna say, given she's a unique. <laughs> Just look at her. Oh! Let's try and jump to the plate. I had a feeling it was her from the beginning. Uh, and then she just read the secret message. That was funny. But is she really gonna rip off? Uh, Don Corneo later on? Those of you who don't know who Don Corneo is, other than just what the townspeople here have been talking about in the slums in Sector 5, um, you will know soon enough. But that little talk with Aerith at the end there puts us on mark that we have completed the quests in this area. So, with that being said, I am going to save the game, and then we will head to Aerith's house.
and continue the main story. I'm so excited. Alrighty then. Oh, a little stamp. Oh, dang. It's Howie Mandel. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Oh, he sounds awesome. Haven't seen him before. He your new boy oh toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Rude Wait sounds a minute. so cool. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? <laughs> Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. He's rude. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. Don't take it personal. Yo. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No, no, I have no, every no. intention <laughs> of countering the heck out of this guy any chance I get. Oh, ow! Oh, shoot. So it's my turn. And catch. What is he doing? That'll do. Can't you leave us alone? No. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ow. I I now understand. Got to get a little payback for my part. I'll take care of him. Um Go ahead and I don't think he's gonna be using any magic. So let's just I got your do Arcane Ward. Soldier. Huh? First class. Let's get... I think that was the right one. Maybe it wasn't. Oh well. Anyway, <clears throat> we missed a wind. Oh, shoot. Well, at least I'm not gonna be using fire. All right, an operative with the Turks unit of Shinra's General Affairs Division. As he possesses incredible strength and a well-toned physique. <laughs> that sounds a little biased there, game. He prefers using his fists over weapons. Wind attacks rapidly fill his stagger gauge. Well, if I had wind attacks equipped, I would be doing it. I'm just so tired. Let's do this. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Take the lead. Come on, Earth, wake up. <laughs> Whoa. Here goes. I wasn't able to um get out of that with a counter. That was a grab. That was a legit grab. Can Rude be in Tekken? Hopefully this freeze cloud. Oh, that was painful. Alright, phase two. Oh, dang. So you had enough yet? Oh, he's out of the beer! I don't believe that I have. My job. And think about changing careers. What you doing, man? Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? I've seen this type before. You don't know me. Couldn't counter that one either. Holy cow. 
Wolf. How's that payback um, let's just uh, let's just be on guard for a second here. Okay, on guard, not on counter. Oh, good gracious! He really likes to. Here we go. I thought you just wanted to go. Oh my gosh, he's doing launchers and stuff. This guy's awesome. Disorder. Full slash. No holding back. Man, he's kind of annoying. Don't overdo it. I'll take care of him. Good. Can't keep eyes. Take it open. That's a little creepy that you just put her to sleep like that. I'm sorry. Did, did he just did he just do power geyser? I, I'm sorry, is is he in the embodiment of fighting game characters right now? I'm sorry. What's he gonna do next? Freaking Shinshore Yukin? Okay, Cloud. The girl's asleep, so you need to use a potion. <sighs> That fight was so sick. <laughs> you know Ooh, I can't I'm sweating. Do that. <clears throat> no. <laughs> hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector Seven. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Ah, these Turks and their weird Shinra support. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh?
viewers, you gotta understand. You've gotta understand something, alright? The Turks were some of my favorite side characters. Just because they're a, a quirky, cool group of extra villains. They're like the, the mix of Jesse and James Team Rocket and the two others that are actually good at their job. They're like the professionals. That's like their character mixture. But they're all professionals and will kick your butt. That fight was amazing. Especially since they give you the nail bat. So you're going to want to use close range stuff. And then they show you exactly like... Nah, you can't hack and slash this guy. You can't easily counter things in this game. You thought that was working before, but it won't be working this time. But then they also have Aerith there, who does the magic stuff. And when you switch to her, he puts her to sleep. That's so clever. Because he doesn't want to hurt Aerith. You know, everyone's had a backpack on. Everyone's had a bag on their side somehow. When you're walking, that thing slaps you. You know? It just, like, leaves your body and then hits you in the back. Cloud, that nail bat cannot be comfortable. We kicked Rude's butt. He did unconscify, unconscify. He did knock out Cloud. However, with my new strategy going on, Aerith was very easily, very flawlessly able to revive him back before she fell. And she never did. And that fight was amazing. And Rude is the embodiment of just fighting game stuff, which is cool. He has an actual grab. Anyway, without further ado, let us continue. You know, my church has double doors like that in the sanctuary, and I, I push them open like that, and I usually say, Did someone say Nathan? To which I know no one said Nathan, but it's just my running joke, and I find it funny. People have stopped laughing at it. It doesn't mean I'm gonna <laughs> stop saying it, you know. Why would I stop saying what jokes that? that aren't getting... I love to see where you're going, but so, unfortunately... Coming? I'm coming, I'm coming. Earth, where are you going? Oh. Oh. That's why the game wouldn't let me up there uh, earlier. Uh, you talking to the... Shh. So, yeah. It was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep Mom waiting. Hey. What'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. Had a boy. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... 
There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Oh, could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. <laughs> Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. I can't. Oh my gosh. I just sometimes guys this this game man. Oh my gosh. This game does not let you express anything you're feeling into words at any given moment when something happens. Learn to talk to her. Joo. MP up. Nice. I only have one of those, I believe. Er, one HP up? I honestly can't remember. Honey, I'm home. You're heading in already? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because this is like um the situation with uh the Sector Seven slums. Ratifa was like, you've done a lot of work. You should go to the bar. I'm like, okay. And I go there, and she's like, are you sure you want to go in? And I'm like, well, you told me I should, and there's nothing else to do, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. A little bit. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Harsh. I've never been so proud. <gasps> the man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow, and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <laughs> 